They set off at dawn, uncertain of what the ocean will bring. So much depends on their catch. It's a hundred-year-old tradition that guides their fishing. No modern equipment, just knowledge. They look at the water, its color, its texture. They even feel its temperature before deciding on the spot to lay their nets. There's no science to fishing. There's so many parameters to take into consideration, like the power of the swell or the tide. Fish are creatures of habit, but lately the fish and the ocean aren't acting as they used to. There's less fish and they are less predictable. Predicting the future of the ocean, something Senegalese scientists are trying to do. In 2015, researchers dropped this buoy 30 kilometers off the coast of Dakar to observe the ocean. This is the first buoy of its kind in Africa. On top, we capture the atmosphere, the wind speed, the humidity, temperature and rainfalls. And below, we measure the water temperature, the salinity and the tides. The information is sent to this lab in Dakar. So far, it's brought more questions than answers. It's important for our fishermen and our leaders to precisely quantify the effects of climate change on the ocean so that no one brings it into question. One of the phenomena observed is upwelling. Unusually cold water from the deep is pushed to the surface, making it ideal for sea life to reproduce. And so some of the species found here are similar to ones found further north off the coast of Portugal. This has attracted European and Chinese deep sea trawlers who fish here illegally. Scientists too are trying to understand how this impacts on the sea life and local fishermen's catch. The world's oceans are a lifeline to this planet, covering three quarters of the Earth's surface and providing 50% of the oxygen we breathe. And yet this precious resource is still a mystery to scientists and fishermen here. Their understanding of the ocean is dictated by tradition, common sense and faith. For them, the ocean is a powerful yet fragile force, now irreversibly changing in unpredictable ways. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Wakam, Senegal.